Hi, I'm Chef Jason Wilson, and here we are in downtown Seattle at the historic Hotel Max in front of Miller's Guild's custom wood-fired grill. Today we want to show you how to make the Washington Blueberry Mint Moho, a topping that complements the Nyman Ranch beef with an exciting flavor dimension. So the first step to my moho is a little bit of olive oil with shallots and garlic. And on medium-high heat, I'm just going to toast them lightly for about a minute or two. And then we're going to take a cup of fresh Washington blueberries Add them to the pan with a pinch of salt and some lime zest. And I'm going to toss those things together and roast them for two minutes. Now that my blueberries are roasted, they're nice and moist here and have a lovely fragrance, we're going to add the ingredients to the mojo. So I take a little bit of fresh coffee flour and some sea salt, some chopped jalapenos, nice tablespoon and a half for uh, spiciness and some balsamic vinegar two and a half tablespoons of that we're gonna mix it up and give it one more quick refresh just to get the, the flavors nice and uh, together here and uh, to bring the depth out so the last step here now that everything has been combined flavors are, are coming out and it's just delicious so I want to add some fresh herbs Here's a nice big half cup of chopped mint, fresh Washington mint. It's one of the, the big herbs that we grow here locally. I'm going to toss it together and then we have our mint moho with fresh Washington blueberries and a little heat from the jalapenos. And what we're going to do now is just add this to the topping of our steak. There we are. And this adds a beautiful appearance, a great texture and flavor, and a real local feel to a really fantastic grilled Nyman Ranch beef.